Hello, my name is Ahuva Schweiki and I would like to paint for you this tulip painting with a palette knife and show you how I do it in three easy steps. I will be using two knives, a smaller one, Low Cornell J15, and a larger one, it's made by Global Art, it's made in Italy, Global Art number 13. They are both trowel knives. I also like to tint my canvas to take away the bright white, and I will show you how I do the tinting. I'm tinting the canvas now. I want to take away the bright white. The old mustard used to tint their canvases. The color they used was burnt umber. My color of choice is orange. I use acrylic paint. As you can see, it's a craft acrylic paint. I like it better than the acrylic come from the tube because it's softer and it moves easier. So I'm going to brush it on the canvas and I usually do it ahead of time so when I get up in the morning and come to the canvas to paint, it's already dry. If not, it's no problem to tint the canvas and then if you want to paint on it right away, take your hair dryer and blow dry it and it will be dry in no time. It's very light and very transparent, very transparent color and some of the canvas will look funny, they, but if you keep going and brushing, it will turn up to be even coat all over the canvas. And my canvas is ready. You see how even it comes? Very even and nice. I like to start my painting by planning the composition. In order to do that, I divide my canvas to three even steps one way, three even parts this way, and then three even parts that way. I get nine squares, and if I do the focal point around one of these intersections, I know I will have a good composition. I'm going to put my flower around this corner right here. So this is going to be my flower, and my bud will be above that. The stem comes from this direction, the stems of this flower come this direction. I'm going to have a leaf going up this way, another one coming that way, and one more this way. I'm using vine charcoal to do that because it's very easy to wipe off. And now I'm ready to go ahead and start the painting. I'd like to show you a structure of a tulip. This is the way the flower looks. It has an opening and a cup. And then I'm going to refer to this diagram here. A tulip has six petals. I will start from the one in the back, the center one, then go to the one on the right, one on the left, and then I'll come to the front one. I number them so it will be easier for you to follow me when I paint the tulips. My stroke with the knife will always be toward the bottom where the stem is attached to the flower. Now we are ready to start to paint the tulips. And I want to show you the colors that I prepared for it. We have the dark color that's alizarin crimson straight from the tube. Then we have a lighter mix. That's the medium that we have, alizarin crimson and white. And we have the light, more white and a little bit alizarin crimson. The first color that I put will be the dark one. I'm going to put it in the area where the flowers are. Cover the paint. See, I don't worry about the vine charcoal. It disappears, and if it blends into the paint, it does no harm. And I paint this area larger than what my body is going to be. just about ready to start the flower, the petals. I'm 
This is my dark paint. Now I'm ready to start my petals and as I was telling you before, I'm going to start from the back one that it's the center back one. I use for this when I load my knife, I double load it. The tips are light. See, I spread the paint really thin so I can pick up as much color as I want and if I need a little amount of paint then it's thin enough to pick up a little small amount. If I need more, I will pick up some more. So I spread it very thin on my palette. This is a palette paper that I have. Now I'm gonna spread the white one, the lighter one, very thin. And when I no load the knife according to the side of the paint, I'm going to, the petal I'm gonna paint, that's how I decide that I know that I load my knife and I will tell you more about it as I continue. I started loading the medium then the light now I'm going to do, put the first strokes and I drag it toward the center where the petal is going to be. Now the second stroke I'm going to do I'm picking up more medium and the tip is going to be lighter and it's going to go ahead and be right there. I need a little bit more paint in there to finish it up like that. Now I'm going to wipe my knife a little bit and do my third stroke and it's going to be right here. I just finished to paint the back side of the tulips. Now we'll start to do the front ones. I do the center front, it's going to be right here. And if you notice, every one of those was done with one stroke. The center front is going to be done with two strokes. And I'm going to load the knife. This is still the same front petal right here. And I'm going all the way, direction of where the stem is going to be attached to it. Now the way I'm painting in my stem is going to end up being here, that's okay. Now. The next petal, I'm going to go ahead and make those colors me, petals meet and I'm dragging toward the bottom right there. It's almost done. One more stroke and we're going to be done with this tulip right in here. And the tulip is done. If I want to, I can extend this petal by putting more light color there. Put the paint. I extended the petal a little bit. And I can extend it on this side too. So I have more overlap. of the petal. This is done. Now I'm going to do my bud. Here's my paint right in here. Put a little bit more dark at the top. The bud will have three strokes, one in the back like this. It's the back stroke. Now the front one. Going on this side. And another one going like this. And our bud is done. That gives us time now to go and start to do with our background. I'm going to show some sky and a lot of greenery. I want to show you that we can restroke a stroke if we want to change it. And I want to restroke this stroke right in here. So I loaded my knife and I put the paint and I restroke it. I put a little bit more light colors on this tulip right here. Now I'm getting ready to show our sky. Here are, our, here are my colors. 
I have the dark, the medium, and the light. You know, the sky above us is the darkest one. And as it goes away from us, it gets lighter. This is why I'm going to start with the darker value, go to the middle value, and go to the light. And what I use for this one is white and Prussian blue, added more white to here, and even more white to this one. And now I can use my larger knife, pick up the paint, and start to stroke it. I can go with wide, big strokes. I'll show you in a minute how I'm going to make the areas with my red color blend. The canvas is small enough so I can turn it to put my paint on for easy painting. Now, both sides of the tulip, I'm showing sky. Now I'm starting to work with my medium color, medium value, I should say. And as I come toward the bottom, of the tulip, I'm with the medium. And then I start to use the lighter color. Wide, big strokes. I'm going to use my smaller knife to blend it between the colors a little bit. And the what I do is I press the against the two colors at the same time, and they get nice and soft. Wipe my knife constantly, not to carry the paint too far. The green that I'm going to put in front of this red color, Elizabeth Crimson, will look very, very pretty. Now, when I do the background here, I'm watching for the shape of my tulip. But you see that the transition from one value to the other is gradual. Turn it up. It's easier for me to work like this upside down here to blend it, not to get into my flower. Let's blend it nice and soft. That's nice. I'm going to add a little bit more light colors of my sky right here. And we can continue to work on the background and show the greens. In the greens, we have the same thing with an addition. We have the dark green mixed with ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, burnt sienna, and cad yellow light. We have the same colors with more yellow light in it to get the medium green. And then we have a warm green and we have a cool green for the leaves. The whole background will be painted first with this dark color that I have right here. So I'm going to take this. It's very dark. And I'm going to paint it with the nice big strokes. I can change to my larger knife because I don't have to be careful about anything here and get the paint cover the canvas. Big, nice, easy strokes. I'm continuing to put my dark green on the rest of the canvas. The knife has a nice point so I can come to a nice small places without hurting my picture. And the paint that's there, I can slide the paint, the knife right there. And when I put the background, I shape my flower a bit. 
as soon as we finish to put this dark green, I will blend the color with the blue of the sky. And then we can put our medium green, our lighter green, and last but not least, paint our leaves. Now I'm going to blend between the sky color and the background color just a little bit because most of the blending I will do with the medium and the lighter colors. So I'm taking my smaller knife now and pressing a little bit between the two, constantly wiping my knife so it won't travel too far. blending. Pressing the against the two colors. See how nicely it blends. Put some sky color right here. That's good enough for that step of the blending. Now comes the medium color of green that I'm going to put all over the dark before I do the leaves. Here's my medium green. I take it on the tip of my knife and right at the edges that's part of the blending, I'm going to put a little bit of this between the, sky, the area where the sky and the, and the dark green meet. And that's one way that I do bl the blending. So the contrast between the dark and the light is gradual and pretty. And that's the way it's going to look in nature where the atmosphere against the greens that are at the edge of our planes, they will make the green look lighter. Now this is a piece similar to a tulip that I took a photo of out in the garden. And there were a lot of trees and a lot of greenery around it. And the sky was showing through too. So right now, here's the blending happening. Makes it nice and pretty. I have the paint on the tip of my knife and with short strokes, Start at the right and pull toward the left. I get the painting, get the medium color on. Right here, the edges are right, look much prettier. You can see the difference between this side and this side, how the edges look different. That's part of the blending. And we'll continue, but I don't stay only on the outline. I come to the area where the dark green is and put some medium greens there too. Like that. Now we'll go to the top and we go blend right in there. From time to time, I can clean my knife. I like to use small napkins, but if you don't want to use napkins, I cut my telephone book pages and wipe my knife. They do a great job doing it too. Now when I put the dark, the color, I shape it. I shape my flower when I, when I do the background. It's continuing 
to paint on the flower to make it look prettier all the time. Here's some greens. And we'll try for the bottom. I'm still with my medium value of green. It gets lighter at the edges where it got to the atmosphere. Let's shape up in here. I'll bring some blues right at the bottom of this area here, which makes my flowers stand up a little bit better. I'm painting the flower from the outside, want it to look really pretty. And back to the bottom, back to my medium green. We don't want to jump directly from dark to light, although those are the values that we see the most of. We easily see the dark area, we see the light area, but what we want to do, we want to put the medium, it's the transition from dark and light makes the painting much richer looking. Now, in the greens, some of the greens are bright, direct sun, and some of them are kind of in the shadow. So I'm going to start to paint now my warmer green right in here where the sun hits the trees or the bushes and the plants that were growing in that area. And I pick up the knife on the tip, the, the paint on the tip of the knife, and put laying small strokes on my canvas. So right in here for the transition there was a nice bright branch going on there. So I'm going to mention it in my painting. Then there is another cluster of greenery. This was right there against the tulip. And it helped the tulip stand out even more. Now when I put the paint, I pick up some of the dark and medium paint that's already on the canvas. So before I reload the knife, I wipe it. I'm sure to wipe it right in here, like this. And as we came down, there was some bush that was completely in the shadow. And the green on it was a cooler green. Do you see the difference? This has, it's green, but it has more blue on it. It almost looked blue against this dark one, but it's really a cooler green right in there that we're going to put. Now on this side, this bush was mostly in the shadow. And it has light, cool green showing. You know, the green in the shadow is influenced from the blue of the sky, so it turns it to be more bluish green. The colors the green and the sun are influenced from the sun color, the yellow, so they become to be warmer with warm yellow in the paint. And right in here, I want to show you, look how pretty, this is my favorite. I love to have the school green against the Silesian crimson. It just makes such a pretty paint colors. And the tulip is going to show so pretty with the we don't know if the sky is showing through with the red colors or what makes it look that pretty, but I just love that look of this cool green against this brilliant Elysian crimson. I can do it carefully because after that we don't have much to do. We just go to the leaves and they are so easy and simple to do. So we want to prepare everything pretty for the finished touches when we do the leaves. I'm going to take a few more strokes in here. Cover it up nicely.
do the edges get okay, some more color and right in here just like this tulip had some bright green warm yellow green next to it this tulip on this side had some too so we're going to put them on and look what a nice look it's going to do it's brilliant yellow green of something a branch or a bush that was exposed to the sun and it's kind of a supporting it has a supporting role to the beautiful tulip that we have there maybe that's what i took that picture of the tulip because i like the green and the red showing together what nature did so that's what made me notice it and now here are our warm greens again a little bit paint on the tip of my knife touch the canvas on the right side and drag it to the left with the very short strokes right in here now the leaves are going to be light right they are going to be lighter than the background so i'll keep the background pretty dark so our leaves will show up but right here right here at the edges i want to put a little bit of light colors those greens are exposed to the sun and they are warmer and then we have to do the stems don't forget i'm getting ready to do the stem and there are two things i would like to tell you about the stem one of them when it comes from the flower we want to believe there is a 90 degree angle right in here and this is where the stem is coming to come from the flower then we can turn it with whatever direction we want to be because it's a very playful thing the other thing i want to tell you about the stem is it's important to show the stem coming from the flower but it's not important to show all the way the end of it where it ends up so right here i'm going to take the paint and i'm going to put it right there it will be my 90 degree because the flower is in an angle and i'm going to turn it like this and now i can turn it as long as I started it in a 90 degree angle right in here to the flower. That was my dark color. You see it shows very nice against this light and right in here that was the dark color. It doesn't show so much but I'll come up with a lighter color next to it now going with the 90 degree that I had here and now coming up with a lighter color and now it shows and you see now I can curve it to wherever I want it to be as long as I got it here coming out from the right place and I will give a little bit lighter color to this and I make a stroke a motion of cutting but very gentle cutting right here so the paint will transfer from my knife to the stem like here now I want before I do the leaves I'd like to check my background a little bit and see what changes I want to make I want to introduce a little bit here between the two pet the bud and the flower a little bit blue color I will turn the canvas it will make it easier for me to do and we will be able to do the leaves then yeah, nice little bit more of the blue color from the sky think that that color right here can have some medium color I left it just with the dark and I usually like to have at least three different values in a given area even if they are very dark and similar but one lighter than the other never leave it just with one or two makes it for a richer painting so that's what I do now I don't want to change I want to stay relatively dark but I don't want it to be dark color only so I do that very nice and I will reshape 
right here. The petal a bit. Very nice. Now it's time to do the leaf. To feel comfortable where I put them, I take an empty knife that has no paint on it and I try to pretend that I'm putting the leaf there so I get used to the hand motion and to the location of where my leaf is going to be. Then I'm going to have one here and one here. I feel pretty comfortable about it so I can paint it. I'm going to take my medium color with some darker green to get on the knife. And here's what I'm going to do. I put the paint there very thin and skinny leaf. And then as I come down there, I start to wiggle the knife a little bit. Because the flower, the, pe the leaf of the tulip, it's kind of wiggly. I'll do it again. This time, I'm going to have on it my cool green, and it will show much, much more. So I'm going on the tip first, and as I come down there, I start to wiggle my knife. Okay, I'll do it one more time to get more knife against this dark. Load the paint, I put it there, and wiggle my knife. That's better. And I'll do it one more time. Wiggle my knife. Now I'm going to do this one. Right here I'm going to go with the cool green only because look how much grind, uh, dark I have here and it will blend with the colors I have here and I get variety of colors in my leaf. The same way, I load my knife, I'll start a little bit higher than this, right about here, and I'm aiming toward that area, Go, making sure it's like a cutting motion, and then I start to wiggle my knife. And I need more paint, that's okay. Start right there and wiggle my knife. Pick up more paint. And now the last one, the last one that I'm going to do, I'll do it half of it in the shadow and half of it in the sun and I'll show you how I do that. I start with the cooler color, start with the tip. It's not going to be that height, no, that height's going to be lower. And I'm aiming toward here. I'm put the, putting the knife and I'll start to wiggle my knife wider and wider and wider. And I'll pick up more paint. Nice tip. And I go wider and wider and wider, wider. Little bit more paint and wiggle the knife. One more time. Good. Now this part will appear to be in the shadow. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the warm green right on this side so you will see I will have half of the leaf in the sun and half in the shadow. I'm taking my warmer green. The stroke is going to be right there. Here we go. Do it one more time. Very good. Now I'm going to look to see if there's anything I want to change. And I have a way of doing it. I have a little mirror here. I'm going to look through the painting right there and see if there is something I want to change. 
and I want to get a little bit more colors, blue color around the tulip right there, and I'll do it, and then we'll be done and ready to sign. sky color right in here. And around the top I'm going to do some change. Little bit blending. Okay. I'd like to see if there's any changes I want to make. I'll turn the painting right in here and do little touch ups blend the sky a little bit into it. Now I also want to bring the stem a little bit brighter. I'll put some cool color right in here where the stem is. Make it show just a little bit better here. Now that I've done the changes I wanted to make, I'm ready to sign it. And I have a small detail brush and when I sign the painting, I like to use one of the colors that I have in the painting. Thank you for watching. To see more of my palette knife paintings, please visit my website at www.ahuvaartist.com where you will see longer instructional videos. Enjoy!